Our world is shaped by all sorts of unseen forces that we don't fully understand. So let's take a look at some of the unsolved mysteries that plague the minds of physicists. From dark matter to the multiverse, it's time to delve into a world in which truth is stranger than fiction. Dark matter, the spider's web. Planets, stars, asteroids, galaxies are the things that we can actually see. They make up less than 5% of the total universe. Scientists think another about 25% is a strange substance called dark matter. We can't see it, we don't understand it, but we're pretty sure it's out there because everything moves to its gravitational tune. Scientists believe that dark matter acts like a spider's web, holding fast-moving galaxies together. And there's so much of this stuff that it bends the appearance of space, so that when astronomers observe distant galaxies, they often appear distorted. We have plenty of evidence that dark matter exists, but as for what it is, that remains a mystery. Some think dark matter is composed of an undiscovered particle or particles, others believe it's an undiscovered property of gravity. Whatever the truth, dark matter is a real puzzle, and it's proved hugely tricky to pin down. Dark Energy, the Poltergeist We know how much dark energy exists, because we know how they affect the expansion of the universe. Other than that, it remains a complete mystery. But this is a very important mystery. Dark matter accounts for about 27%, while up to 68% of the universe is dark energy. The rest is everything on Earth, everything observed with all human devices, is ordinary matter, making up less than 5% of the universe. Think about it, maybe we shouldn't call this ordinary matter, since it only makes up a very small part of the universe. One explanation is that dark energy is a property of space. Albert Einstein was the first to envision that space is not nothing. Space has wonderful properties, many of which we are only just beginning to understand. The first property Einstein discovered was that it could cram more space into existing space, and then a version of Einstein's theory of gravity the one containing the cosmic constant, made the second prediction, empty space could have its own energy. Because this energy is a property of space itself, it cannot dilute as space expands. As more space is introduced into the available space, more space energy will appear. As a result, this form of energy will cause the universe to expand faster and faster. Another explanation is that dark energy is a new form of an energy liquid, or a kinetic energy field, something that can fill all the space. But something that affects the expansion is the opposite of ordinary matter and energy. Some theorists have named it quintessence, or the fifth element according to Greek philosophers. But if fifth element is the answer, we still don't know what it is, what it interacts with, or why it exists. And this mystery continues to be controversial. Quantum Entanglement, Spooky Action Quantum entanglement is a physical phenomenon that occurs when a pair or group of particles is generated, interact, or share spatial proximity in a way such that the quantum state of each particle of the pair or group cannot be described independently of the state of the others, including when the particles are separated by a large distance. Famously dubbed spooky action at a distance by a dubious Albert Einstein, Quantum entanglement is the phenomenon by which two particles in totally different parts of the universe can be linked to one another, mirroring the behavior and state of their partner. Quantum entanglement is a bit of a nuisance for classical physics, because it breaks some fundamental laws that we previously thought unbreakable. For particles to be connected across such vast distances, they must be sending signals to one another that travel faster than the speed of light, a feat previously considered impossible. What's more, objects are only supposed to be affected by their surroundings, the notion of a particle being affected by something happening on the other side of the universe is just strange. Nonetheless, studies suggest that quantum entanglement does indeed exist. And even though we don't understand it, we could still potentially use it. Because of its spooky characteristics, entanglement could eventually become the bedrock of next-generation computing and communications. Antimatter, the evil twins. Antimatter is the opposite of normal matter. More specifically, the subatomic particles of antimatter have properties opposite those of normal matter. 
The electrical charge of those particles is reversed. Antimatter was created along with matter after the Big Bang, but antimatter is rare in today's universe, and scientists aren't sure why. It sounds crazy, but the subatomic particles that make up everything around us, electrons, protons, and neutrons, all have evil twins. Antimatter particles are the same mass as normal particles, but the opposite electric charge. What's more, antimatter could even prove useful. When antimatter and matter meet and destroy one another, it releases energy. In a PET scanner, anti-electrons are created, and their annihilation in the body allows doctors to create sophisticated images. What's more, scientists hope to one day use the energy released by antimatter, or matter interactions to power spacecraft. So perhaps antimatter isn't quite so evil after all. The Fermi Paradox, Little Green Men in 1950, physicist Enrico Fermi had a lunch break conversation with colleagues Emil Konopinski, Edward Teller, and Herbert York on the subject of aliens, all four of whom were now working at the laboratory, National Los Alamos. They chatted briefly about the nearby occurrence of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, reports, and a cartoon by Alan Dunn that aliens stole city trash cans. Then they had a more serious discussion about, is, in the next 10 years, people will be able to observe objects moving faster than light? Mr. Fermi asked Mr. Teller, Teller thinks the observed rate is 1 in a million, but Mr. Fermi thinks it is very large, up to 10%. The conversation shifted to other topics, until at a sudden meal Fermi shouted, where are they? This was an unexpected question, directed to no one. But all who sat near Mr. Fermi understood implicitly that he was asking, where is alien life? Black holes, massive monsters. Black holes are formed by collapsing giant stars, with a maximum mass 20 times that of the Sunday. After the stars die, their masses are also partially dissipated through explosions and blown away gas. However, this hypothesis completely does not apply to LB1, the cosmic black hole 15,000 light years away because its mass is 70 times the sun. Experts think there could be up to 100 million black holes in our galaxy alone, and these monsters can grow to become billions of times more massive than the sun. What's more, at the center of most galaxies, including our own, lurks a supermassive black hole. But we don't know what happens when objects pass through the center. They might become spaghettification. One edge of the Earth closer will be pulled strongly towards the black hole, until the other side, the Earth has turned into a noodle. The destruction of the whole planet is almost certain in the palm of your hand. On another theory, we continue to exist. A scientific paper published last year by Dr. Samir Mather, Ohio University, USA, suggests that a black hole does not destroy everything it sucks in. This hypothesis is very interesting. Accordingly, a black hole is like a copier of the universe. Mather thinks that black holes have a different surface. Things don't get sucked up into the depths of the black hole, but fall to a certain surface. This surface has all the necessary conditions to describe a three-dimensional object. Therefore, you will be fooled into not recognizing it as a virtual image. Who knows, right now we are living inside a black hole. 7. Space Roar Silent Scream In space, nobody can hear you scream, but with the right equipment, it is possible to detect a roar. That's what scientists discovered back in 2006, when they began to look for distant signals in the universe, using a complex instrument fixed to a huge balloon that was sent to space. The instrument was able to pick up radio waves from the heat of distant stars, but what came through that year was nothing short of astounding. Is the space roar coming from the Milky Way? Whether or not this source is inside or outside the Milky Way is under debate. Some think that it's leftover radiation from early stars, others believe that it's gases swirling around galaxy clusters, or else galaxies themselves. But for now, the Roaring Universe remains another unsolved mystery. There are good arguments why it cannot be coming from within the Milky Way, and good arguments for why it cannot be coming from outside the galaxy, Kogut said. Cosmic Rays, Ghostly Visitors Cosmic rays are high-energy particles that come from outer space, and regularly bombard Earth. Generally, these particles are completely harmless, our atmosphere kindly protects us. But there are some exceptions. Up high in the stratosphere, cosmic rays can affect both human beings and electronics. 
astronauts and aircraft crew are exposed to higher levels of radiation than the average person because of the presence of cosmic rays, although still not enough to be a major risk. But electronics are the real potential victims here. Very rarely, a cosmic ray particle with enough energy can go straight into an electronic system, causing serious damage. The high energy particles can disrupt electronic data, leading to system crashes. And in an increasingly digital world, that's not good news. Determining the source of cosmic rays proved difficult for many years. However, there are a number of assumptions that can be made. First of all, the nature of cosmic rays is extremely high energy particles imply that they are produced by rather vigorous activity. So events like supernovas or the regions around black holes appear to be potential candidates. The multiverse, the doppelganger. The multiverse is a hypothesis that scientists have set forth for a long time, but to prove it is true is not easy. The existence of parallel universes seems a more familiar concept to works of science fiction than in real life, but the idea of multiverse has long been considered a possibility. Though it is still a controversial topic among academics, the dominant issue now is finding evidence, anything that could prove that other universes exist. Scientists are still actively looking for these signs. Some look for direct markers in the universe, such as residual luminescence after the Big Bang, others look for indirect cues, like gravitational radiation, that help prove existence, in the theory of expansion, thereby reinforcing the theory to support the existence of the multi-cosmic model. The Big Crunch, the end of the world as we know it? In the past, the deliciously named Big Crunch suggests a scenario, in which the universe's expansion, which has been going on since the Big Bang, tapers off and instead gives way to the force of gravity. As a result, everything including planets, galaxies, clusters, is drawn together into a single, dense point of mass, until everything is wiped out. Don't get too worried though, this is all many billions of years away. These days, the Big Crunch is by no means the only theory out there concerning our inevitable demise. Other ideas include the Big Freeze, the Big Bounce and the Big Rip. So rest assured, even if we don't know how the universe ends, we know it's going to be a pretty big event. For centuries, human beings have looked up at the stars and contemplated the universe and our place in it. From the dawn of time, we've always wanted to explore and make sense of the world, and yet, so many mysteries still remain. But amidst all the lingering uncertainties, one thing is for sure, the universe is so much stranger and more complex than we could ever have imagined. Can we prove the existence of these miracles? That is a very difficult question to answer. But the presence of a multitude of phenomena, hints about the universe. Those are certainly mysteries worthy of the scientist's journey of discovery. Thank you for watching the video, and see you next time in the video. If you like the video, please like the video to support us. If this is your first time visit us, please subscribe to Ask Bop Entertainment to discover more interesting videos. See you again.